welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today, let's all just take a breath, honey, because today we're talking about it. We're diving in. We're talking about foundation. Now, this has been such a highly anticipated and requested video. I know that you guys have been asking me for this for literally two months now, and I really wanted to take my time. I wanted to get to know these foundations. I wanted to see what I love, what I don't love, and really find a way to present that to you in the best possible way that makes the most sense, that's cohesive, but also that doesn't take three hours. We are going to be talking about all of the foundations individually. They are not in any particular order. I'm just going to be pulling them at random and I am going to be kind of bullet pointing what I really like about the foundation and what I don't care so much for about the foundation. And I think this is going to help, first of all, keep me on track because y'all know your girl can talk for a hot minute. And I really want to make sure that while I'm talking and speaking with you guys, nothing gets lost. I want it to be very pointed, very direct, and also something that um, doesn't get too wordy because honestly, a video like this, especially for me, could get very, very long and excessive and there's just no need for that. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about the foundation actually that I am wearing today. And that would be this little guy right here. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now, this foundation, much with all of these other foundations, will have their first impressions linked down below. So if you would like to see the application, the coverage, and all of those thoughts, every single one of them will be linked along with an affiliate link if you wanted to pick up, purchase, or repurchase any of these foundations. Everything will be listed down below as well as everything I'm wearing on my face. But this foundation for me was actually a very, very tricky one to get used to and to get playing with because in my first impressions video, I fell in love with it. The coverage, first of all, you need to know, that's my bullet point number one, it is beautiful. And anytime I'm testing out a foundation and it's like, hey, full coverage, I'm instantly skeptical. I'm like, mm -hmm, girl, yeah, right, you're so full coverage but it really was. Like, girl, I'm telling you, I applied a little bit of this, and I still remember that first swipe in that video, and I was just like, ooh, like, you better calm down, because it was just so beautiful on my skin. As I apply it, like I said, bullet number one, love the coverage. It was so, so beautiful. However, the matteness of this foundation I don't know what it is, guys. I have an oily T-zone, like oily T-zone, but there is something about this foundation that when I apply this, girl, it needs so much luminosity added to it to work on my skin, and I don't know if it's just like it leans so drastically one way or if it's my skin, but for me, the pros and cons of this foundation are so evenly weighted that I've had to use this as more of a mixed foundation or as a Scott Barnes only technique foundation. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the Scott Barnes method, that is just the method where you go in and you do concealer first and you kind of conceal under the eyes, forehead, T-zone, jawline, at least for me, and then you also go in and you shape with the uh, cream contour, you do all of that, and then you piece in with a light amount of foundation, and given how this one was wearing on my skin, again, being very matte, almost texture emphasizing, I had to go in that route with this foundation a lot of times. As far as the workable of this foundation, that's another topic I will touch on. I love to work with foundation and I love to really play and mix and mingle and, and add in color here and coverage here and shear it down and I really love that part of foundation and really making it ultra customizable to whatever I'm feeling in that moment of that particular day. And so for me with this foundation, the workable aspect of it, ooh, it's not that great. It is very difficult, I feel, to work with, whether you're trying to like add a couple drops of a face oil to shear it down and add some luminosity. It doesn't really like that. Um, it is better paired, I think, um, as far as that goes with more like topically hydrating options. Again, like a primer or a spray, that sort of thing. And a very, very light refined powder if you're trying to combat that cakiness of it or that thickness. But overall, love the foundation, like I said, otherwise it wouldn't be in this video. Um, it's just a beautiful foundation, but just definitely a lot on like that pro-con kind of feel. So I thought it'd be a good one to knock out first. But next up, we will go ahead and talk about this one, and I have talked about it so many times, y'all. The Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Who, girl, this foundation for me, it is a difficult foundation on certain aspects, but for me, like out of all the foundations I tried, I would have to say this is probably one of the top three that I have done recently. And that's crazy because there have been so many people that hate, I mean, hate this foundation. And I just do not have that experience. So let's go ahead and start bullet pointing. Number one, I think that the coverage of this, absolutely stunning. It is a full coverage foundation. I have worn it so many times. A little bit of this goes a long, long way. Again, the coverage is gorgeous. Um, so that's bullet number one. Number two, I think out 
on the hydrating side of things for a conceal and hydrate foundation I don't find this to be overly hydrating we have other foundations girl we're gonna talk hydrating in a minute um, but this just is not her she's very much more for me at least a satin finish foundation I would say like it's not totally matte but it's definitely not a dewy luminous anything to that side like I would say it sits right in like the natural to maybe satin range depending on how you apply and what your base products are so as far as application for this foundation the one thing that I have found that works the best is the Scott Barnes method and really going through and working this just in this region again to piece together concealer with cream contour and I think that that's the case for this foundation because bullet point number three or four at this point is that it is a very finicky foundation when it comes to powders for example I used it with the airspun <laughs> absolutely not like that powder with this foundation wow did it look atrocious it looked so thick and so cakey and so dry oh my god you would have thought that I literally mixed sand in with my foundation that's the level of dry we're talking but then with other more like slightly light refined powders I would say um like my pressed pixie flawless finishing powder that's a beautiful one an hourglass powder even like a loose like a Fenty or a JSC type powder that are really really thin and fine um it worked beautiful with those so Again, I think this is a foundation that has so, so many beautiful points, but very, very, very finicky when it comes to powders. You can mix this with a slightly less coverage option if you want to, but for me, I feel like this one is best on its own. Um, again, via all over the face, Scott Barnes method, it doesn't matter, but all by itself, I feel like this one really does shine and look its best. Um, so the workable factor is pretty good, but not the best, but still beautiful. Okay, so here's the situation. We're gonna talk about a foundation that I actually don't have in front of me, and that's just because I've worn it so much much, I can't find it. Like, I was sitting here, I've looked everywhere. I've looked in here, above, below the desk, in the windows. I've looked everywhere. And I've worn it probably more than any of these other foundations because I've had it longer. Because uh, it was probably one of the first foundations before the found explosion hit that was released. And y'all, I'm talking about that pure three-in-one love yourself -y. honey, three, four-in-one. I don't even know how many it is in one, girl. It is so beautiful. It can have my soul, a hole in one. I don't care. It is a beautiful foundation. Honestly, like, when I talk about this foundation, there is not one thing that when I'm talking about it that I'm like oh that's really ugly like all of these other ones I have a distinct like this one doesn't like powder this one's kind of matte and kind of thick and cakey if you do it wrong but with the pure it is just such a stunning foundation first of all the shade range out of this world fantastic the coverage is so so beautiful like I love it it's almost like an effortless full coverage it doesn't last as long on my skin as a lot of other foundations do again just because it does have like a slight amount of luminosity and when it gets to this area it'll start Start breaking up a little bit more but for the type of finish it has plus the coverage plus everything else I do not mind and actually you guys I think I might have lied there is one <laughs> one bad thing about this foundation I love like you guys the pure foundation is so so good but one thing and I like mentally block it out every time because I love so many other aspects and that would be the settling into the lines around my mouth right here for whatever reason that foundation girl she settles like crazy right there so what I have actually done is taken like a brush and literally packed it right there and then over top of that I'll take um, my sponge and I'll kind of lightly bake literally just over the line and I don't leave it there too long I make sure it's like a my skin tone type powder and then when I go in I brush it away and I let that powder really sit and sink into that area and doing that really does help decrease the smile lines a lot but seriously once I fix that again beautiful beautiful foundation. I just have to work with it a little bit. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Just wanted to remember to throw that in because I don't want to be lying. This video is not for liars. It's for truth. It is for the truth. All right, and while we're on the topic, we might as well talk about this little guy, and this is the ABH Luminous Foundation, and yes, it made this list. Now, for me, this one is better as a mixing foundation, and this is something that I really haven't touched on too much in this video, but as I mentioned before, I love to mix my foundations, and a lot of times I'll actually say, like, this foundation, I love it alone. I like this one with Scott Barnes Method. I like this one all over, and as so many other times I pointed out in the past, one of my favorite things to mix in with this is my Catrice HD full coverage this is such an amazing foundation it's like 10.99 at the drugstore the shade range is awful but the foundation itself girl if you can make it work it is so so worth it and what I love to do is mix in a couple drops of this to my ABH and what it does is together they create a really beautiful soft 
satin kind of feel and I get the coverage and the like staying power of the Catrice foundation but when it comes to the ABH I still get that beautiful light luminosity because it pulls the matteness and kind of helps say okay maybe not so matte we're gonna make it just a little bit lighter a little bit more luminous now I did just want to be honest there and tell you guys truthfully how I typically wear it which again is mixed but to give you the evaluation of just this by itself because obviously that's why we are here um, let's talk first coverage it is a nice medium coverage it's lightly buildable to like a, a slightly higher medium but for me I find that it's best to leave it at just a true medium and again I mix it in with something else so for me that's not too much of an issue but again by itself it is a nice medium coverage finish on this is absolutely beautiful again sitting at more of a luminous finish um, the wear of it by itself is actually quite beautiful on my skin it does break up a fair amount in my t-zone just because I am more like I said a thousand times normal to oily and the bulk of my oil does come right through here um, and because of that it settles in a little bit to my fine lines up here and a little bit around my mouth for me overall again beautiful foundation that sits somewhere in the middle of several other aspects and I really do like it I think it's beautiful it pairs nicely with my Catrice and your girl's not mad at that girl I'm never gonna be mad if you pair with my Catrice because my Catrice is my girl it's my woman it's my thing I love it. Now moving on, I don't think that I would be doing anybody a favor if I didn't talk about this nice little Fenty hydrating foundation. You guys, this is a stunning hydrating foundation. I am throwing it in this video if for no other reason than to let y'all dry skin people out there know you have got some love right here. This is a beautiful foundation if you have more dry skin. Now for me, because obviously, like I've said a thousand times, my entire face is not dry. Um, this tends to be a little bit of a problematic child for me to work with because of of that dewiness so for me I can tell you bullet point number one girl she just does not last very long on my skin um, a lot of the other ones that I've mentioned in today's video and that I will mention they last like with no problem I would say 8 to 12 hours like not even an issue this one for me starts getting a little bit funky right around that six to seven hour mark by eight hours it's a little questionable now that being said let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the bullet points shall we let's talk coverage medium coverage um, it's less buildable for me than the um, ABH one is again just my opinion I do find it to be slightly less buildable for like harsh acne and that type of thing I think what really makes this stand out amongst all of the foundations that were released during the found explosion Is that this one wasn't full coverage this one wasn't super matte this one wasn't for me super long wearing It was really really nice to get to see something come out around this time That was so different because I feel like it gave so many people that didn't want full coverage and that didn't have super You know combo or oily skin this gave everyone something else to try and I really do think it's an amazing foundation now for my skin type it is not the best obviously like I've said it does work like I found ways to make it work but because of the finish not being something that my skin particularly loves um, it does make it a little bit more tricky for me it makes it settle into my lines a little bit more um, I do find that this one sets better with a thinner powder and that's something that I know is personal preference but I throw it in just in case your skin is like mine um, it sets better that way again at least for me think Fenty think the wet and wild photo focus think anything like that I think the thickest I would go for a powder with this would be like the Hourglass or the Charlotte Tilbury. Just something that's still lightly refined, nice and um, thin feeling, but not as thin as the Jeffree Star and that sort of thing. Like think somewhere in the middle. Um, because this foundation, if I had to describe it, lightweight, but still like nice and dewy and beautiful on the skin. Um, so again, probably the most out there type of finish we have. This is the only one that I would say is super, super dewy. Um, but still a beautiful foundation. Definite pros and cons. Now next up we have another foundation that I have worn several times including the video that I linked where I did a full face of first impressions and that would be the dose of colors meet your hue now this foundation is so so gorgeous I've been wearing this a ton actually I think I've been wearing this one more so on like the pure side because this was released before a lot of these and this foundation has a ton of beautiful points to it um for me this one is much more of a high medium it's not all the way full coverage but it's definitely more coverage than like the mediums I've talked about the Fenty or the uh, ABH this one is way higher than that so high medium leaning towards full depending on what your skin looks like and what I like about this foundation is the way that it, I think it sets on the skin it has a beautiful in-between of so many of these foundations I get a beautiful coverage and the staying power of it is absolutely stunning it works well with a lot of powders on my skin and a lot of primers and that sort of thing like it's not finicky as far as the workable aspect goes girl 
she workable all day and I really really love that um, a great candidate for all over the face or Scott Barnes method whichever way I want to go totally fine I think the only thing I missed on this one is actually the finish and that would be a more I would say natural finish leaning slightly luminous like it's not overly so um, it just sits really nicely in that camp of starting off a little natural and then as I work with it wear it for like a couple of hours it goes slightly luminous and again just really beautiful I love the way it looks on the skin it, it's definitely a contender like I've been using this one a lot now this will bring me to my last but certainly not my least favorite foundation and that is my Urban Decay Stay Naked I know so many of you guys were looking for it um, this foundation is so gorgeous on the skin so let's talk bullet points um, coverage we're looking at like a standard medium coverage across the board it is buildable a little bit not overly buildable but a little bit um, the finish on this one the finish is actually the craziest part for me this is probably one of the truest natural finish foundations I have ever used it doesn't pull matte it doesn't pull luminous it pulls so so natural like I put this on your skin literally still looks like skin but just like a little bit better with medium coverage like it's crazy the finish of this and what I really love about that as far as the foundation goes is how workable this is getting into that category of workable like y'all know how important that is for me and this is something that I can do so much with I can add coverage which is something I love to do I'll add in like a drop of my Catrice I can add in a little bit of a dewy foundation I can kind of play with it that way and overall I just think that this foundation like I saved it for last for a reason not because it's my favorite or anything but I think this one out of all of them if you are looking for a true natural I've already said this 10 times like skin type finish foundation I think that you would probably want to start here because this foundation I'm just like I'm so impressed with that like all of these other ones as I look out at the table and I think back to everything that I've tried and <gasps> I've tried a lot this one for me is just so unique in that sense this is almost unique in the same way that I think the Fenty one was unique because the Fenty one like I said very hydrating very XYZ and very different for all of the ones that were being released around it and with this one it's the same type of deal it's that finish it's the way that it sits on the skin it's the the coverage mixed with all of these other things like obviously we have seen a medium coverage we've talked about that we've seen all these other finishes we've talked about those but this is really the only one out of all of these that I wanted to highlight for the specific reasons that I think it's really beautiful but overall you guys those are my thoughts and opinions on these foundations these are the ones that I've been gravitating towards the absolute most but I would love to hear from you down below and I have several questions so let's talk about it number one I want to know what out of the found explosion foundations have you been looking at and have you really been loving like what do you love why do you love it and what's your skin type like I want to hear that foundation story from you but I also want to know if I talked about any of these in a way that you're like yes that is dead on tell me that down below like hey Paige you are totally right it does the same thing for me like yes the Smashbox is really really matte but I love the coverage you're like yeah you're dead on with the pure three-in-one selfie like what is it is there anything that I said in this video that you're just like holy cow yes it is the same way for me and the third thing I want to know is of course was this video helpful to you like honing in specifically hey I was really curious about this aspect or I'm so glad that you included this this like tell me down below is there any aspect because for me that really helps it's very very good feedback for a video like this just knowing what's really helpful and what's not maybe when it comes to these and of course the overwhelming and most important thing here if you have not done so yet please subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel I do upload five videos a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan so they're bright they're early they're fun they're funky they're fresh girl they're everything you need them to be and you guys are the best so thank you so much again for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Up, down. Up, down. So what I have done for today's videos, I have... So what I...